All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's see if we're back. Hey, oh, we are back. All right, let's make sure we're still going strong here. Okay, so those darn pesky cables. Well, we're getting to the end uh, of what we we're looking at, anyways. Um, so the question got brought up automation. So everything I showed you could absolutely now be automated. So in December. We came out with a plugin, so I'm going to move this over here. So there's a ZBrush to Photoshop plugin now. So everything I was doing, you can actually just tell it to do, and it'll automate the process for you and render out the passes. You can even switch different materials. So those those materials I was using, so I can say I want a different material, right? So right now it's using saying using skin shade. I'm going to say yes. I can say actually I want a pass with this reflective material. I click on this and you see it's it's replacing it with yes and then I turn this on that's telling it to send the pass and if I want albedo which is pretty much your color AO you want it to be BPR quality shadows so all of this now can be sent over with one button so you just say send to Photoshop and it only works with Photoshop CC there's nothing else we can make it work with so when you guys are using this, here, I'm just going to launch Photoshop. There we go. So it'll launch your Photoshop and it'll send everything over for you. So I'm just going to show you that and then uh, we're going to call it a stream because unfortunately I got to move on to other meetings. So this was released. So let me show you where you guys can download this is on the Pixelogic site. So let me move over. So if you go here to get help, okay? And you go here to download center. And then you go right here to where it says down here at the bottom. Okay, where you got ZBrush plugins and you scroll down to the very bottom, we released two new plugins. Scale Master, which is huge for people dealing in a pipeline, specifically also wrapper prototype people, it's very useful. And then here's where you download the ZBrush to Photoshop CC. So this plugin is going to do the exact same thing in essence that I've been doing through this meeting and just automate it. So my Photoshop is um, taking a minute to launch. Okay, so we'll go back here. And then now all I have to do is say send to Photoshop. And then now it's going to literally go through and do all the rendering and the passes for me and bring it over to Photoshop for me. And there you go. And we want to show this again. And then everything is now also being put in a folder. Uh, it's, it's bringing up all the other files here. Hold on, Photoshop is recovering. So there you go. And then here's all the passes. So you got your lights are in a folder, whatever lights you want. There is different, right, materials, things you can start playing with, your shadows. There's your shadows. And then the beauty of these, you can actually resize all these layers and everything will update correct. The last thing that I was going to show before we crash, which is set up, he's using a mask, right? So if looking at the original one that we were playing with, this one right when it's all said and done i'm going to use this mask option right so hold on it's still it's bringing over the last pass the computer does not like me today not happy with me okay so in essence doing this by hand i would need to go to this pass and i'm going to copy it and then what I'm going to do is just select all these and create a folder. So in essence, this is kind of what's being automated for us. Okay. 
And then now I'm going to add a mask, right? And in this, I'm going to paste that. So when we go back, now in this group, I can create oops, a new layer. And now we can do whatever we want, right? So I can even switch to a gradient. Let's get a little more colorful. Oh, Chris, why not Christmas? No, let's not do Christmas. And then now I can create like a, a background, right? And then put this below, right? So that's what I was saving the mask out for, right? So then obviously the AO needs to be switched to a multiply. Uh, -doo 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 -doo. Why am I going blank? There you go. And then now you're going to have some fun with this, right? So this is in essence my background element now, and I'm using the mask pass so I can control all this. So you can do everything by hand, or you can use this plugin, which it's already setting all that up for you, right? Then there's there's that new material, that reflective material. So that's this. And now we can start masking this out and see it's already got a clean mask for us to start painting with, right? So no matter what you want to do, you can start painting out this now. And start going through all this. Okay, so let's turn it on. Might help to turn it on, so we can start doing the exact same thing, but it's all automated for you. So you guys don't, you guys don't have to re remember every single step that we've gone through here. Okay, so that's it. I've unfortunately got to get going. So ironically, the crash happened of my computer system, which seems to be an ongoing theme for me, right when I was finishing up. So again, that plugin is on the Pixelogic website right here. Okay, you gotta go into your get help and in your download center, and then you'll have the plugin here, and then this is where you can also download the new, the newer 3D Print Hub, which was released almost two years ago, and uh, and then the new two that we released in December, Scale Master and ZBrush to Photoshop. So pretty much I was doing today the ZBrush to Photoshop workflow. Okay. So any last minute questions that I have missed, throw them in there right now uh, before I head off. Again, sorry. I am actually, we're building a new computer for moi. So we don't have this computer just freezing up for no reason at, at all. What do you mean, uh, Vector Ride? There are no new ideas for additional passes. Um, I'm not going to be able to go in two weeks, so I don't. Uh, I don't know what we'll be talking about. Most likely, I won't be able to be here in the following two weeks, so I won't be back for a month. So, um, most likely, we're going to be doing maybe 3D printing. Um, Ducon, what are you looking for exactly uh, about brushes? Are you talking about going through like the entire brush system? Are you like talking going through every single one of these sub palettes and like literally going through every single slider and button and things like that? Is that um, Duca Black Heart? Is that what you're asking for? If you want, send an email to streaming at Pixelogic and give me exactly what you're looking for, and that way we can wrap something around that and make it worth um, everybody wanting to see. Yes, I will not be here in two weeks. Um, I mostly won't be back for a month. So that's why we didn't have the poll going. Bam! As Ban says, as Bland says. Okay. Um, any other questions from anybody else before we, uh, we end the stream? Thanks again for tuning in. Hopefully you guys got, again, this is recorded, so it'll be on our Twitch channel immediately and it is immediately getting sent to our YouTube. So obviously there are two parts. Um, we'll see if the boys Kingsley or Kyle can just put them together as one. So there's not two parts. And thanks again for tuning in. Sorry for the, uh, computer issue once again. Dang cables. Not really the cables, it's the computer. All right, everyone. Have a fantastic week. We'll see you again in a month. Bye-bye.